It's not all this. And it's not all this. There's quite a bit of this. Some of this. And even a little of this. But then you don't leave home to join the Women's Royal Army Corps if you'd rather work in the bank round the corner or be something in the city. Right, you follow the road round to the left there, second building on the right hand side. The starting point is the regular commissions board held in Wiltshire. Three and a half days of physical and mental tests. Are you nervous about this? How are you going to do it? First of all, we're going to get the rope from to somebody there on this end. Try and thread the bucket through the rope. Yeah, you're getting them onto the ground. Are we then going to have somebody jump? The RCB is not intended as a kind of assault course to search out your weak spots. It's to find out if you have the potential to be both a leader and a part of a team. In the classroom, there are written tests and group discussions on general knowledge and current affairs. A straightforward question, perhaps. Do you think that the richer Western world countries really do enough to help the third world? Fifteen minutes left. Well, now we're dealing with uh, candidate number three. As regards the written test, Ralph, uh, how's that going for her? Her test results here were a little bit mixed. Her essay was sound, the content was good, and it was well argued. Hold on tight to that rope. In those three and a half days, you may find you are capable of more than you think you are. Uh, how you take part in games and sports? Do you like games? Well, no, actually, I, I only do what's necessary. I'm not really very sporty. Yeah, we'll bring her out. You get a taste of leadership and self-expression, and the WRAC learns more about you. And when you're not playing sport, do you like doing anything else? Um, I have done some community service with old age pensioners in the area. We have some alms houses yes. in the area, and there's people living on their own. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I visit them for an hour once a week. She has a strong sense of responsibility. She has a sense of humour. I thought she entered into the spirit of the thing very well indeed. Yes, I think this is probably where the girl was at her best. And then when she did get stuck on the, the crossbar, um, it was done in a very pleasant manner. In fact, there was some humour came out of it, if you remember. Once over the hurdle of the RCB, you start the process of becoming an officer here at one of the world's finest army colleges, the Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst. 28 weeks of a course that's as varied as it's tough and fulfilling. Drill is just the start of the making of a WRAC officer, the first steps towards becoming a disciplined being. If you order, slow Of course, it does take a bit of practice. Right, lady, today is the first lesson of your military law syllabus. The Sandhurst course is a tightly packed introduction to the whole range of an officer's skills. Therefore, he or she has the same responsibilities to civilian law as any other citizen. Say again, batch number, over. 
Okay, you've got your platoon position. Yeah, you're fine. Two, three, what I'm going to do is put the three dots number, on the top. Three, seven, the circle on the boat to indicate out. air defence. And two. It's an intellectual two, challenge one, first, one, yeah. but physically demanding as well. The Royal Military Academy occupies 900 acres on the borders of Surrey and Berkshire, one of the most beautiful estates in southern England. Not that there's much time to soak up the scenery. Male and female cadets share many parts of the course, including the handling of weapons, although in the case of women officers, for defensive purposes only. Load. If you come to hold the Queen's Commission, you will have earned it in equality with your male colleagues, including the right to get just as drenched. <laughs> All the physical and mental toughening that takes place in the earlier part of the course at Sandhurst is called upon when the action transfers to the Welsh mountains for a week-long test of nerves and stamina. Go on, keep going. Go on then, lean back, lean back, good. Lean back a little bit further. Slowly walk the feet down, that's it, little steps at a time, not great big steps. Go on, keep going. Future leaders have sometimes to be led a little good. themselves here, but part of learning to acquire the trust of others is to learn right. to trust yourself. That's it, go on, where you go. The quicker you get down, the quicker it's over and done with. Safe. Good night, home. Yeah, I think you want to bring that foot. There's plenty of room to get both toes in there. If you, uh, adjust your weight. That's it. Transfer your weight. Fit both feet in there. Don't cross your feet over. All right, from now on you want your toes into the rock, okay? Heels out. That's good. Is it in? Yep. Well done, well done. All right, transfer your weight. Right leg. Now your left leg again. Left leg again. Oh, okay. Right. That's, That's it. Good. That's okay. That's good. Keep the weight evenly distributed between both ropes. Okay. Not from where I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Nice and steady. Good. Your right leg. Well done. That's good. Well, nearly there now. Very nearly on that ledge. What do you know I'm supposed to do? That's it. That's it. Go, Sutter! Woo! That's the enemy trenches. This will be maintained for as long as it is safe and then switched across the position in front of the assaulting troops. Women officers are not asked to lead their troops into battle, but they must have a grasp of battlecraft. You are the left forward platoon, and you will come under fire from an enemy position comprising six men with an LMG, and they are dug in in two six-man trenches on the far side of the hill over there. Your point section has gone to ground. The battlefield may remain a male preserve, but the art of infantry tactics turns out to be unisex. Enemy intentions. 
The enemy are determined, which means they'll probably stay and fight. Strength. They have six men with LMGs, which means that I will need a platoon attack. Dispositions. There are only three trenches, which means that they will be likely to be in a linear layout. This means that a flanking attack will be preferable, and I'll need a fire plan. Okay. You've got it absolutely right. Where are you going? The reward for coming through a time as tough and taxing and exciting as any career woman could wish for is the Queen's Commission. Those long hours on the parade ground were part of the preparation for this, the passing out ceremony at the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst, the Sovereign's Parade, one of the highlights of the military year. Women officers now share in this long tradition because it's recognized that they have a crucial place in the military pattern. When the great parade ends, it's a beginning as well, the start of an army career. It's very frightening to wonder where you're going to be posted and actually to wonder whether on earth you're going to be able to do the job when you get there. However, when you do actually get your feet on the ground or under the desk or whatever, it's not nearly as frightening as you think it's going to be. And away you go. This is Germany, just one of the worldwide possibilities for posting. Let's hear more WRAC officers speaking for themselves. Apart from uh, this particular job here in Germany, where I'm involved in travelling anywhere from Mönchengladbach to Berlin, I've also had an active duty tour in Northern Ireland. Naturally, there is an element of danger where you're dealing with a real operational situation. It's very curious, in fact, how the pressure seems to give you confidence and ability you didn't know you had. Good morning, Court Campbell. Have you got all your maps and everything for today? Yes, thank you, ma'am. Jolly good. You're well, I am responsible for 50-odd vehicles. Oh, it's well, ma'am, isn't it? When it comes to the vehicles, I have a staff sergeant who is trained in mechanical transport work. But I do have the responsibility of looking over them to make sure they are being kept up to scratch. And mostly my job involves looking after the people who drive these vehicles and looking after their welfare. Question B, to protect British economic interests. What British economic interests have we, um, Corporal Harding? Um, having just trained to teach in a civvy school, I couldn't face the thought of going straight into one. So I thought, how about some sort of adult teaching? And I didn't realise you could teach in the army. Military aggression towards Hong Kong, we'd lose a valuable trading partner. Well, how do we protect them then? Are they not in any threat? You don't have to be a terribly hearty, jolly hockey player type at all, but you must have a sense of humour. Because you do rely on people, people rely on you. You are with people all the time. On exercise particularly, you're in a small wagon. Eight five. With yeah. at least one, if not two other people. Three, twenty, twenty-five, Zulu. Okay, hold on a minute, please. Your sleeping accommodation isn't your own private room. You're sharing a tent with one, two, three, or up to twelve people. Uh, and the loos, you don't sort of find a, a nice warm heated loo. Uh, 
around every tree or in every forest. Those are the things that can get you down slightly. Thank you. But it's lovely to be out in the open and the sunshine in the morning and all you've got to worry about are your communications, the people who are with you and making sure it works. I'm sure the general public do not or cannot envisage the variety of things an officer can do in a day. Uh, you've got people's welfare to think about and not just looking after women either. You do look after men and men do come to you with their problems. Hello, Records North. Good morning. 637 Private Morgan, Devon and Dorset. He is on exercise at the moment and he'll be there for another five days. We're trying to arrange a quick move for him. Because his wife is suffering from um, nervous complaints. In fact, she, she's very unhappy in the area locally and has been admitted once already to hospital with a nervous breakdown. Is there any chance of him moving to somewhere that he knows already, like his battalion in Catrick? So we'd like to see him go within a week to ten days. I don't see any problems. Uh... Well, that'd be lovely. Thanks very much. This is Judith Bando from Ryan Darlin reporting on this week's Ryan Area Sport. First of all, canoeing. The Ryan Area WRIC canoe race was held on the River Earth near Cologne on Saturday. The cup was awarded to Corporal Maggie Robinson, a 16 signal measurement. Congratulations, Maggie. And now swimming. The BAOR Women's Services Swimming Championships were held here on Wednesday. The winners were 29 company WRIC closely followed by the team from the British Military Hospital, Munster. Fencing. Congratulations to 2nd Lieutenant Liz Melville of 68 Squadron RCT, who won the Rheindahl and Garrison Fencing Competition on Friday. Hello. We hope that she will do as well when she competes in the Women's Inter-Service Fencing Championships at Aldershot next month. And finally, riding. Rheindahl and Riding Club is looking for new members. Both experienced riders and beginners are advised to get in touch with the club secretary, Captain Jane Stevens, on Ryan Army 82482. Very smart. They're very well made, aren't they? I think um, a WIC officer probably has as unrestricted a social life as any civilian. There's absolutely no reason why you shouldn't have a steady boyfriend. Eventually, if you decide to marry, then there's absolutely nothing to stop you getting married and also staying in the service when you are married. Yes. Uh, how, about, how about roses? Yes, yeah, food. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We cost it up. You got roses and you cost 80 pence. 80 pence. Yeah. Uh, 80 pence. 80 pence. Six. Um, how many? 12. 12. <laughs> 12. Yeah, yeah. 12. Yeah, you're right. 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, friend. What do you say? Dobre utra. Hello. Paka. 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 And Paka. Paka. Dobre, nice round o. Dobre utra. Dobre utra. Russian. Hope you enjoy the Nemetsko fascist and Zakhvatchik me. Which means eternal glory to the heroes who fell in the battles with the German fascist aggressors. In front of the memorial are two T-34 Russian battle tanks, and behind them, two Russian artillery pieces of the Second World War. Two Russian soldiers stand in front of the memorial. Well, when we take people around Berlin, what we try and do is give them a, a flavour of what the city is all about, because it's very easy to be here and not be aware of the fact that you are in a little western island in a communist country. Because as you can see, the Brandenburg Gate is now entirely in the east. The wall you can see in front of the gate isn't the typical wall, but on either side you can see the typical wall, the Mark III wall, and just here, on this side of the gate... One of the situations we might find ourselves in in Berlin is having to evacuate families in any emergency. Everything all right, Cabrera? So if there were a crisis, we would be collecting people to come to the military hospital in order to document them, give them their air tickets and so on, and then arrange for them to leave Berlin. We are now perhaps one of the most innovative of the corps in the army. And this is why I think the WRAC now is held in much greater regard than it's ever been before. There's no doubt that the three years in the army 
on this short service commission. It's been really a tremendous experience. What I've learned about the army, social life, and I think what I miss most about the army is the sort of people I'm meeting all the time. In, in my last job, I was the only, the only girl in about 40 officers, and I don't know how many hundred men. You do tend to get teased an awful lot, but so long as you can give back as good as you get, then I think you're okay. It was going to go on all night. It was. It was a really, really very friendly atmosphere. Just a. It was just like being in a big family. It was lovely. You join that family on that day at Sandhurst when you become an officer in the Women's Royal Army Corps, alongside your brother officers in the British Army. I don't think I've had any regrets about joining the WRAC. In fact, I think it's the best idea I've ever had. <laughs>